Hi, my name is Raj Gurn and I'm the publisher of Anoki magazine. I'm blessed to meet and have intimate and provocative conversations with the hottest and most influential celebrities from around the world. We talk about all aspects of what drives them to their personal greatness. There's no, there's no no-go areas with me. Really? There may be a few. Okay, so then what I ask you, you're going to answer? Yeah. You sure about Within that? Within reason. I want to talk to you about your phenomenal success, baby. That's the first thing that I want to chat with you about. Do you know what it is, right? I don't really, I don't s stop to take things in. And, and sometimes that's bad. But if I stop there and go, done, did it, I did it, I killed it, then I'll stop trying harder to get to the next level. I'll stop, I'll just stop trying and I don't want to do that. That's not my personality. So I guess I just never, I never stop and say, made it, made it now. Do you know what I mean? So those iconic moments of success, mm -hmm. do you not at least take a few moments and Definitely. say, you have to take it in. I always say, like, I, I tell, you know, I tell everybody who's who's trying to achieve something uh, slightly out of the ordinary or maybe a, a dream or something crazy. Even if, you know, even if it was like to, I want to run the marathon one day. Well, okay, if you only ran 10 miles, don't beat yourself up and go, oh, I failed. You have to go, I flipped and ran 10 miles. That's amazing. Right. and give yourself a pat on the back. Do you know what I mean? You have to celebrate the small successes, have to celebrate the small successes, but it doesn't mean you stop there. I, I would never want to be that guy, you know, who has a little, a, a lot of success in a small little area and I'm the big dog in my little town and I'm walking around like I'm the man, like, yeah, 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 don't worry, you don't know about me, you don't know. And I'm like, I've seen people like that and it's the worst thing on earth. I'm like, if you stepped out of your little town where you are, and caught a plane and went over to Australia or something, they wouldn't know who you are. So you need to come down a notch, like, you know what I mean? Stop being so arrogant and work hard and go. So I'm so aware of that, that I don't want to be that person. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. I give myself a pat on the back to, in order to motivate myself. Yes. But I keep going. I just want to keep going. So what was that first success that you remember that you felt, you know what? This is going to work is, for me. Right. I, 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 I want to do this for a living. I think the moment I realized I had, a, I had fans and I, I had a legitimate fan base was, was nuts. Having a fan base is... Having a fan is crazy. If you think about the concept. What does that mean to you? What is, what is a to fan have to have a fan who just... There's some people in this world who've never been told by anybody that they love them. Think about that. There might be a kid whose parents left them and then they, they're bitter and scarred and then they can't move on and find out. Nobody's told them, I love you. I have people telling me that every day. Un dying, undevoted love on Twitter. I love you, I love you, I love you. And they don't feel any way about it. They just want to tell you, pour it all out and say I love you. And for me to have that, to have somebody who cares enough about me to want to, to wanna say that, is a beautiful thing. And that, and, and you know, I'm very lucky. I'm very, very lucky, you know? And I don't know, I'm a soppy person when it comes to love. And I just think that it's, a, it's, it's just a great thing to have in your life. So a lot of those people are women. The women yeah. love Jay Sean. They've been good. They've been very good to me, I must say. So do you get any weird things get thrown up on stage? Yeah, I mean, like? it happens all the time. Nick, like? the, the, the usual stuff, knickers, bras. Um, teddy bears, roses. Did you pick any of them up? <laughs> I did the other day. What did you pick up? Pair of thongs. Oh, nice. Um, what colour? It's, it's up on YouTube somewhere. Someone emailed me it and they were like, <laughs> did you really pick up someone's thong? And I was like, yeah, it was, it was a nice thong. And do you have a woman to share your life with? I do at the moment. You do? I have a girl at the moment who, who I'm with who it makes it a lot easier for me to share this madness with and you know, and uh, I, I mean, otherwise, I think the industry can it can really consume you if you don't have someone to share that with. You gonna tell us who she is? No. 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 What is it about <laughs> her that makes her the right woman for you? Um, she understands me. She gets my job. She understands what this is about. Um, you know, it's she's she's fun to be with, and um, you know, 
she's a partner. She's someone I can just share experiences with. And, you know, I think that's important that she understands my job, but also understands that sometimes when all the, the, the curtains come down, and, you know, the lights go out and then I'm, I'm still just a, a dude, you know what I mean, who just wants to do stupid things that guys do and go out and have fun with my friends or go out and grab pizza or whatever it is, you know what I mean? And not just have it be all about the glitz and the glamour all the time because those kind of girls might get disappointed when yeah. they find out that they're still a part of me which just wants to live a normal life. It's been a total pleasure thank chatting you with so you. Much. You are an absolute darling. Oh, thank I you. wish you appreciate that. I wish you all the success that you deserve. Thank you. Your light is shining bright and it's gonna keep shining because you are such a good and positive being. Oh, thank you, you you know, I, and it's it's been a total pleasure it spending has been. time with you. You guys have been amazing, man. I really enjoyed the shoot a lot. Hey, and you said that you, my interview was the best interview. Darling. It was amazing. Really? Yeah, just because, you know, you did, you, I guess you've obviously, you've seen the journey. Yes. Yourself, you know what I mean? And, and, uh, and it's nice that when, when you have somebody who kind of has witnessed that and, and has seen the struggles and, and can be happy in your success at the same time. So Absolutely. I appreciate that. So, sweetheart, you take care of yourself. Will do. Look forward to the next time I see you. I have to come back. You have to get me back. Yeah. Yeah, gonna, let's do another we're one. We're going to bring you back. Yes. Let's do something real crazy and manic. Let's do it. All right? Let's do it. Thanks, sweetheart. Thanks, Appreciate sweetheart. It, Thank you. I adore you. Appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs>